Hey guys, it's Ashley, and today we're unboxing the Whimsify box for August. Hopefully this will be going up at the same time as my Unicorn Crate unboxing will, because both of these are dreadfully late. This is another bookish subscription box. It gives you a book and a couple of bookish goodies every month. Each one of them is just unique to itself, and honestly, I'm just so happy that I was able to try out as many boxes as I have since I started my channel. So without further ado, let's just get started. Also, just want to say thank you once again to Whimsify for sending me this box this month and for being so understanding with, you know, the hurricane and whatnot, because they also reside in Florida. I also hope that they made it through safely and that everything was fine on their end and yeah, let's just get into this. Also, I didn't mention it in my Unicorn Crate unboxing, but I did get my hair cut. I don't know if anybody's noticed. If you see any videos that are going up later that my hair is longer and has dark roots, that's because they were pre-filmed and I never edited them yet. So just be aware. So let's see what's inside. Oh my goodness. I always forget how beautiful their yellow little... Their, their, their little yellow worms are. <laughs> so it looks like the theme for this month's box was Fantasy Kingdoms, and I remember this because I was so freaking excited about it. So let's just get into this. I love me a good fantasy. <gasps> Stop it right now! We have something related to A Darker Shade of Magic. Okay, this is a candle from Markai Candles. It's called Red London, and I'm already obsessed and haven't even smelled it yet. It's supposed to smell like lilies, marigold, and stargazers. Saying that something smells like stargazers? Are you telling me it smells like the people who are stargazing? Because that's a little weird. Oh my god, it smells literally exactly how I would imagine, you know, the magic in Red London to smell, because if you don't already know or haven't read the series, Red London has like a certain rosy, flowery scent to their magic, because I don't know, it's just what it is. And this is amazing. Okay, so these are made by Glitter Saturday? I don't know what that is, but they're sunglasses! <laughs> That say Alicante 2017. It says planning a trip to Idris from the Mortal Instruments. Make sure to pack your Alicante sunglasses. Thanks, Whimsify. You know just what I need. So this is from Literary Apothecary, and it's a lip scrub. It is a honey eucalyptus lip scrub. It's called Arwen of Rivendell, and because of the elvish scroll, I'm gonna say that's Lord of the Rings, but it also sounds like Game of Thrones, so I don't know. Ooh, it smells really good. Okay, so you're supposed to, I'm not gonna do this now, but you're supposed to take like a little amount of this and like put it on your lips and then Mm, rub your lips together. It's supposed to like help take off a lot of the chapped lips and like the dead skin on your lips Which is something I really need because I can never remember to use chapstick for the life of me So this will definitely come in handy and I will be keeping this around It looks like this next thing is from just one more chapter. It's a necklace that's based on on A Court of Thorns and Roses. It's like a little book, and around the book is the map of Prithian. It's so cute, and I love it. So next is a bookmark that is kind of like the side of a map, and that's really cool and interesting, and I like it. And it's from the Book and Art Shop on Etsy, and they also gave us a discount code, so you can use Book and Art Whimsify and get 30% off at their shop. So if you like this, definitely go support them. This is so cute and so different, and I love it. Ah, this is Game of Thrones. So I don't think the other thing, I think the other thing was Lord of the Rings, because this is Game of Thrones. What is this? Okay, so it's a little print of Westeros from Game of Thrones, and I can tell because it says Winterfell with the little dog flag thing. Is that the Stark flag? Or is that the... Mm, I don't know. And then there's the Casterly Rock with the lion cat thing. Is that... Is that Lannister? Maybe? Um, I recognize this thing, but I don't know what that is. King's Landing, it's like a dragon thing, like a red dragon thing. Is that Targaryen? <laughs> I don't know what these things are. Is the, is the deer Targaryen? Or is that, what's the other one? There's Lannister, there's Stark, there's Targaryen, and there's another family. But apparently there's a lot more than that that I don't know, so I'm just gonna stop embarrassing myself. Oh, this was made by Jane's Tiny Things, by the way. And now we're finally getting to the book of the box, which is always packaged so adorably. What is it? What is it? What is it? I didn't spoil myself by looking at the card this time. 
like, wow, I've never heard of this, as usual. The book is called Shimmer and Burn by Mary Taren. Tarenta, sorry, Tarenta, and it's a high fantasy, obviously. It's about this girl named Ferris, and she lives in the slums of Bryn Daigle with her sister Cadence, but one day Cadence is stupid, tries to flee the kingdom, and is sold into slavery. Like, Cadence, can you not just, like, thank your sister for caring for you? No, you're gonna, you're gonna try to run and you're gonna get sold into slavery? Like, girl. Anyways, though, so she agrees to a scheme to buy her back, and she binds herself to the power-hungry princess Bryn, oh my god, it's a prince, I thought that said prince, who wants to steal her father's throne. So now Ferris has to smuggle stolen magic into the neighboring kingdom to incite its prince to ally with Bryn. There's a lot going on here. The war-torn country, they turn to a handsome traveling magician north, they, you know, have to free the sister, they have to kill people. This sounds very interesting. <laughs> Included with the book was a signed book plate by the author herself, Mary Taranta. Okay, and it looks like the theme of the next month's box is called Queens, Good and Evil. And so that is everything from the August Whimsify box. Thank you for watching and thank you once again to Whimsify for sending me this box. I really do hope you guys fared okay in the storm and just thank you so much. If you're interested in getting a box, I will leave the link down below to where you can buy one. But other than that, that is going to be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will catch you later. Goodbye!